I'm Liz Snyder with this morning's Kenosha News Minute, sponsored by Festival Foods. Three Kenosha projects were listed among the state's top economic development ventures in 2014. Projects by Meyer, Niagara Bottling, and Insincorator are bringing more than 400 new jobs to the area. We Energies is reminding people to clear snow and ice from exhaust vents and natural gas meters. Snow and ice accumulation on furnace vents can lead to potentially deadly carbon monoxide levels in homes and can affect the performance of furnaces. At 90, age hasn't slowed down Ed Stevens, who still works out at the gym three days a week. What's his secret? Read his story on today's health page and at KenoshaNews.com. Here's David Marin with the Athletic Republic Kenosha News Athlete of the Week. Becky Bonin is leading the St. Joseph girls basketball team's charge to its first ever conference title. Averaging 5.4 points off the bench in the first 14 games, Bonin has averaged 14 points in the last three. Congratulations, Becky, the Athletic Republic Kenosha News Athlete of the Week. For more, check KenoshaNews.com and pick up today's Kenosha News.